Welcome to another video. We have f of x equals 2 to the x and the mission is to find the Maclaurin series for 2 to the x. Now remember, every Maclaurin series is centered at zero. The value of x you're going to be plugging in after you get your formula is going to be zero. So zero better work. So if a function will not work at zero, you can't find a Maclaurin series for it. Because no matter how hard you try, if you cannot plug in zero, then there is no Maclaurin series for it. Yeah, so you would usually would center it somewhere else. That's why we use the general Taylor series and just avoid the point that causes trouble. Okay, now there are two ways to answer this problem. It is either you use the shortcut method that depends on your knowledge of e to the x, which is the father of all the exponential functions, or you just do the work raw from the beginning by taking derivatives using the definition of the Taylor series. Let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk about e to the x because it looks like this. Now, we know that e to the x is usually it's 1 plus x over 1 factorial plus x squared over 2 factorial plus you just keep going like that so every time it is x to the n over n factorial plus you keep going so when you write a series like this you're going to write the summation now something that is important to note when you write the summation it is okay i've seen people do this that e to the x is basically the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. There's just a little trouble here. The problem is, if x is equal to 0, you can't start from 0, because you're going to end up with 0 raised to power 0, and we know that that is indeterminate. So we don't want 0 raised to power 0 in what we're doing, so we should just take care of the situation by not including this one, okay? So we're going to start from here, and we don't have to deal with the 0 raised to power 0. Even when we plug in 0, it's going to be 0 raised to power 1, 0 raised to power 2, but the 0 is not there. So we might as well say, hey, this is the same thing as 1 plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. This is the better version we're going to be using just because it's the Maclaurin series. Now if it was not the Maclaurin series, if it was centered somewhere else, then we're going to write this as x minus a to the n and that will be the Taylor series of it. Okay, so this is important. It was the reason I took the previous video down because 0 raised to power 0 would be a problem. Now that we have a clean formula for e to the x, for the Maclaurin series for e to the x, this is what we can do. We can try to see if we can write this in terms of e, if we can make it look like this. So let's watch it. Notice that, that 2 to the x can be written as e to the natural log of 2 to the x. Remember, any number can be written like this. e to the ln of that number is the same number. And we want it to look exactly like this. So we're going to say, we're going to bring down this x. It becomes e to the x ln of 2. So this is what we have. The good thing about Taylor series or Maclaurin series in this case is that we can take this because this is a scalar multiple of x. We can just replace this x in this formula with x ln of 2. And that's it. <laughs> it's sweet. So we can say that, therefore, let's call this um, f of x. f of x will be equal to 1 
plus the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of anywhere you see x, replace it with this. So you're going to have x ln of 2 raised to power n over n factorial. And in essence, we can actually distribute the n so that this becomes x to the n, and this is ln of 2 to the n. If you did not know this, say you've forgotten what e to the x is, well, you have to follow the rules of doing this. And all you have to do is go back and start. Remember that for any function f of x, the Taylor series or the Maclaurin series, let's do it that way, would be equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of f, the nth derivative evaluated at 0 over n factorial x to the n. This is the general formula for all Maclaurin series. This 0 means whatever you get, plug in 0. So you're going to start with your 0th derivative. The 0th derivative of a function is just a function not differentiated. So we're going to say that f, I'm going to write it this way so you can see it, the zeroth derivative of, of x is just 2 to the x. That's it. That's the original function and we're going to evaluate it. This implies that the zeroth derivative evaluated at 0 is going to be 2 to the 0 which is equal to 1. That is the very first term of our sequence using the actual definition. Okay, and you can see it matches this guy here. Okay, next one. We're going to take the derivative. What is um, the first derivative? Let's do it this way. I want to write it this way so it matches. This is going to be the derivative of 2 to the x. Remember, as a calculus student, you have to know the derivative of exponential functions. It is the function itself multiplied by the natural log of the base. So this is going to be 2 to the x times ln of 2. That's it. So what does this mean? This implies that the first derivative, let me write it as this. I still want to write it as 1. Okay, I know we should call it f prime, but let's write it this way. Evaluate it as 0. If I plug in 0 here, what do I get? 2 to the 0 is 1. 1 times ln 2 is ln 2. I'm going to go to the next one. The second derivative, this is going to be x equals, if I differentiate this again, now this is not a product of functions. It is, this is a scalar multiple. So the derivative of 2 to the x is going to be 2 to the x times ln 2. But there's another ln 2, so it's going to be 2 to the x times ln 2 squared. So I'm going to get 2 to the x ln 2 squared. Okay, so if I plug in 0 again, this implies the second derivative evaluated at 0 is going to be 2 to the 0, that's 1 times, so it's just ln 2 squared. So you notice that if I continue, this number is going to always match this number. The power here is the same power. This is something to zero, this is it. So it continues so that f to the n, the nth derivative of x is going to be 2 to the x ln of 2 raised to power n, which implies the nth derivative of 0 is equal to ln of 2 raised to power n. As you can see, all our answers are coming out. And let's see, we can say now that f of x is actually equal to going by this definition, okay, is going to be, let's write out a chain. The first thing is going to be, um, our a sub n is going to be all of these numbers, 1 plus, the next one is going to be ln 2 over 1 factorial times x to the 1, matching this, plus, I don't need to write this one, okay, and we'll go to the next one is going to be ln 2 squared over 2 factorial plus, sorry, times x squared. This is going to be x squared plus, we keep going, we're going to end up with 
ln2 raised to the power n over n factorial x to the n. That's it. So, what's our formula? 2 to the x is equal to 1 plus the sum n equals 1 to infinity of this formula. That's all you need to plug in. That's going to be ln of 2 raised to power n over n factorial x to the n. This is the Maclaurin series. And this matches this exactly. This one is by just mere substitution. This one is by working out all the derivatives. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.